Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to do something really really interesting. This painting, you can say it's possibly like more intermediate level than beginner, but let's just start. So I have painted a beautiful clear blue sky and now I'm just creating a patch of grass by just coloring it with sap green. We'll add some detail later. Okay, so I just decided to plant a train in here. Now, I don't know why I did it, but here I'm just going in with alizarin crimson, trying to create something that gives you an illusion of being a train. Now, seriously, when I was, when I was doing this, I really, really considered aborting this idea totally and just moving on to a different canvas. But then I thought there is really no right or wrong in painting and why why should I just stop in the middle so here you see I'm just trying to fill in some gaps I don't think I'm particularly too happy about how this train is positioned but I'm just trying to rectify it as much as possible because you know paint is already there right now this is the main outline of train done so I'm just trying to put this really dark color over just between the train and the grass to give the uh, you know to try and create the pathway where the train is running like the train track and um yeah just really dark ish gray um i've mixed in ultramarine blue with some van dyke brown to get this color okay um let's get to mountains before we define our train so for our mountains i'm again going with a shade of gray and these mountains are in switzerland and they're covered in snow so pretty soon you're gonna see me add some snow to my mountains but for now i'm just painting them just dropping them wherever i please and now i'm going to add sap green for the mountains that are closer to the train which are having a bit more detail than the ones at the back <coughs> sorry after i do this i'm gonna i think add some detail to the train because let's be honest our train looks like a big blob of paint but actually I decided to add a fence. We don't really want our kids running away from the grass onto the train track. So it's really important for safety purposes that we drop in a hair uh, rail rack over here. So it's gonna be double one and just doing it with white. I just thought like this color is gonna stand out uh, in gray. Of course, you can use brown or any other color you like. Right, now here I'm adding snow. When you're adding snow to mountains, just remember it's really important to have gaps. It's really important for the color to break. Um, some people find it easier to do it with a palette knife. Um, I can do just as well with a brush. And here you will see after I'm adding light blue shadow on the opposite side of the mountains, you will see this really, really, really pretty and natural looking mountain range ready. Right, let's just add some grass onto our <laughs> grass patch, which is looking quite naked. I've mixed in yellow and sap green and just throwing different colors here and there whilst also planting trees on my lovely green lush mountains. Um, again, it really depends on how much detail you want to add. But of course, if something is closer, it's going to have a little bit more detail than something that's about at the back. Um, I'm really happy with how this painting is turning out. I'm really glad I did not leave it in the middle. Now I'm going to try and make this train a little bit more alive than it currently is. So here I am just painting the top of the train, trying to create a door so people can actually get in. Uh, and then I'm going to make some windows, you know, I mean, who doesn't like a window seat in a train? So that's my whole thought process over here, just to give some definition to this train. I think overall the painting looks really, really pretty. The trees in the background are looking so beautiful and so real. Um, this must be one very, very beautiful train journey. Anyhow, let's plant some more windows over here and <clears throat> we're gonna move on to just adding some very few more finer details to make our painting 
just that much more realistic and I think it's turning out to be a really 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 nice piece um, I'm just gonna clean up, clean up my fences as well whilst I'm doing it because drawing or painting straight lines is one of my pet peeves I don't like doing it and I kind of mess it up so I'm gonna try and straighten my lines up a bit um, probably not like perfectly straight but straight enough um, and then also I think on our train tracks we do need to add some pebbles so you know I'll have to like maybe take a lighter gray and try and plant them there for now I'm just trying to tidy up my <laughs> tra the the fence bars which were not really that pretty right just going in back to my trees to give a little bit more realism and this time i've picked up mars black just to make some of the trees darker than others and i am now throwing in pebbles uh, on the train track and just adding a little bit more touch of color to our train um throwing in some lighter pebbles and Finally, let's just join the two fences together. Um, this painting, you know, the reason I called it like intermediate level is because it's got a little bit more to it than throwing in color. But if you've been following my videos, I'm sure you can create this painting as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy watching. <laughs> 